five for people living in the city of Morganton. Flood water will need to go down before it can get back up and running. And that is just one issue the area faces after Helene rained down. WBTV's Erica Lunsford shows us how people living in Morganton are handling the aftermath of the storm. Families we spoke to are without water, without power, and without cell phone service, but they tell us they have a community within each other to help them through what the storm has brought them. Living without power, but we pull through. The city of Morganton battered by strong winds and high water. I'm originally from Florida, so I know what a hurricane is. So when we started preparing for this, I just picked up all my loose stuff, threw it on the porch, and I was like, oh, it'll be okay. You know, I was not prepared for this. This is hurricane, and it's like, where did this come from? Many living without their everyday necessities. I guess it was about 7.30 we lost power, and we've not had power since. And then today... About 7.15 this morning, we got the alerts that the water would be depleted once it was gone. There was no more water through the city. Waters quickly flooded this apartment building, forcing families to face the harsh reality that many of their belongings are gone. We were watching as the river was growing, but we never thought it reached our house. And just by the afternoon, it, um, by the afternoon, it was, we just came inside the house. So the water went down. Thankfully, went down by thank God, but um, yeah, we just, yeah, they were everything just... was floating. While the road to recovery may be long. As far as the community, everybody's been really good and we've been talking to each other. Every time we're out walking, you know, people are talking and very concerning. Anybody in their homes, just to stay calm, okay? Reporting from Morganton, Erica Lunsford, WBTV, on your side.